All right, so we've got our blocks if you want to use them, maybe a blanket or something to put up under your hips as we begin our practice. I want to welcome everyone to the Rescue Yoga Virtual Studio today for Energizing Flow. My name is Felicia. We're just going to bring ourselves to a comfortable seat right now and just start to sit nice and tall, feeling the earth underneath our sit bones. Maybe we've lifted them up with the blanket so that we can kind of lean the hips kind of forward and more level maybe. So we sit tall, relaxing the shoulders, lengthening through the spine and all the way up through the crown of the head. Start breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. The breath becomes deeper, smoother. to close for a few moments here as we really draw our attention into the room that we're practicing in, onto our mats, into an awareness of how the body is feeling at the moment, and moment by moment as we go through our practice. Let's take an inhale, and as we do, let's lift our shoulders up towards our ears. Exhale and release down. Take an inhale. Exhale. Let's do it again. And just flow with it. Really making that contrast between having the shoulders up and bringing them down. Just a couple more. From here, let's start to stir the torso around from right to left, inhaling and exhaling. Still here in the month of March, Monday was the beginning of spring, still talking about the renewal of spring and what that means whether we're getting out into the yard, gardening, planting, looking forward to growth. Okay, so let's take it over to the left side and around, whether you're inside doing spring cleaning, changing things out. Maybe we're thinking about changes we want to make in our lives or in ourselves. With this renewal of the spring, I mean, we can do it anytime, but spring is kind of a signal that maybe it's time to make a change. Let's bring ourselves to stillness here. As we go through our practice, we'll just contemplate what changes we might want to make. Take an inhale, reach that right arm up and over, stretching long through that right side, reaching over to the left. Exhale and release. Take an inhale. Reach up and over. And exhale. Let's do that again with the right arm up and over. And then with the left. Now from here, let's take an inhale, reaching to the back. Exhale, reach forward. Take an inhale. Open through the chest. Exhale. Take an inhale. Another thing we could be thinking about when it comes to renewal is to maybe let go of old grudges, old things that we've allowed to hold us back. Maybe we've been hurt. Ways that we Restrict ourselves and protect ourselves. <sighs> Consider letting go of all resentments or hurts or disappointments so that we can go forward and find more happiness in our lives. Just a little more here.
here. Let's take an inhale. We're going to look forward. Exhale. We're dropping the chin towards the chest. Find the length in the back of the neck. Take an inhale. And exhale. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Just that another three times. Bringing that gaze forward. If we've got anything under our hips, we can take that out from under. Get ready to lie back with the soles of our feet on the ground. Feet about hip with distance apart, arms relaxed at our sides. And from here, press into our feet and lift our hips high with our exhale. Inhale and release. Exhale to lift. Inhale to release. Continuing to prepare our body for this movement session that we have in our yoga practice. Lifting up and lowering down. Lifting up and lowering down. Just a couple more here. So let's stay down. Let's reach the arms up and over. Inhale. Exhale, sweep down along your sides. Take an inhale. Exhale. Watch you on this next exhale. Start to round the spine. Lift the head and shoulders and your belly button. Inhale and exhale. Continue to bring more and more movement into the body. And warmth at the joints and in the muscles. Just a couple more of these curl ups. Pull the knees in and release the arms and legs. Pull in and release. That was engaged here. Start to feel more comfortable. Maybe we extend the legs a little further away each time we extend the legs. Curl up. Drawing the forehead towards the knees. We'll curl everything together. Inhale and exhale. Soles and feet on the mat, walk the feet out wider. Let's go ahead and rock the knees in towards the center of our mat. Go into the inner edge of each foot. I mean that weird little stretch to the outside of each hip. Even stay here. I'll grab me to do what it can with the hips. Four, three. Two. On then from here, let's go ahead and we're going to roll. Let's walk a little further close together, excuse me, and then we're going to stagger the knees over to that right side. Feel that deep stretch into the left side when we do. Five. That stretch and the opposite where the knees point. A bit of a pulling at the front of that outside high. Yeah. A roll to the other side. Same thing. Well, I'm ready to do what you can. Relax, relax. Find that spaciousness in the hip. And then the thigh down to the knee. knee. This one up. From here, start our knees in. We're going to come 
up to seated, bringing ourselves into boat pose here. Toes that stay on the ground, feet can start to lift, legs can start to extend, start to lean back a little further, maybe. Breathing for another five, four, three, two, one. Reach long. Move the arms through the legs. Stretch a little bit longer, then draw the knees in. Exhale, inhale. So back into the boat pose. Find your way there. Reach long, lean a little further, maybe reach the arms a little bit further back. Stay for another four, three, two, one. Put it back, reach it long here. That long stretch. The knees in, big hug. Pop up again, I want to bring your attention, I forgot to mention. Sound bowl experience with Lisa S. Today, sound bowls and meditation this evening. Interested? Go online to rescueyoga.com events. Sign up. Should be a great time here. Back into our boat pose. Leave for another four, three, two, one. Look at it. Join the soles of the feet together. Lean forward, drop down. Drop the knees a little bit wider as you fold over. Find that length in the sides of the body along the spine, back of the neck, but relax the shoulders. Let gravity do what it can to open up the back body. It's here, releasing, relaxing through the thighs. Find the knees to fall where they can. Gather our knees, gather, and come to hands and knees. It's wide. I'm just gonna play around with the positioning of the arms here. While we're here, we'll rotate the elbows, elbow creases forward, and then release. Elbow creases forward and release, all while the fingertips shine forward. Just kind of play around, engaging the upper arms and releasing, engaging and releasing. Good, keep going here. Staying with your breath, inhaling, exhaling. Not necessarily synchronized to anything, but just being aware that you're taking full inhales, full exhales. To explore the mobility and the arms. Another five here. Two in range of motion, twisting, and three, two, and one. From here, we take that right hand, rotate the fingers out and place the heel of the hand forward, fingertips towards you. Breathe here, find that stretch in the forearm. Breathing, breathing. Stay for another four, three, two, one. Let's release that. Left hand rotates out. Feel the hand down, wrist under shoulder. Hold it here, find that stretch in the forearm. Breathing, breathing. Staying, relaxing through the shoulder. Another five, four, three, two, and one. From here, you can go ahead and roll out both wrists. Just flexing and extending. Different planes of motion here. From here, let's bring ourselves in the child's pose. Walking, the knees wide, big toes to touch. Reaching long through the arms, forehead reaching for the mat. 
be extended. And this spaciousness in the back and the sides of the body, back of the neck between the shoulder blades. Any more space before three, two. And one, let's bring ourselves back to our tables, not position here. Walk the knees under the hips, wrists under the shoulders, spreading the fingers wide. Let's hook our toes under, going into downward facing with our exhale. Inhaling into a knee hover, a tabletop. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale to a hover. Exhale. Inhale. Let's lift up this time. We lift the right leg to the sky, three-legged. Release. Come back to that knee hover. Do that again. Exhale up. Lift the left leg high this time. Release. Knee hover. Go down dog. Heel lift with that right leg, release, and hover. Keep doing that. Lift up, down dog. Extend that left heel high. Release the foot. Back to that hover. Let's do that twice more. Lift up into down dog, hanging the head to the ground. Extend that right leg up. Release, hover. Yes. Back to the sky with the, with the tailbone. Reach high with that left leg. Release and hover. Back to downward facing, pressing the heels through the back of your mat. Exhale. Inhale, come to the balls of your feet. And so press back. Inhale, push forward. Exhale, press, inhale, push. Just another two here. And from here, wheels go back. Inhale, exhale. Next inhale, we're bending our knees, look to the space between your thumbs. Exhale, we're walking our way forward towards the front of our mat. Take an inhale, half lift. Lengthen through the spine, through the crown of the head. Gaze is forward. Exhale, fold. Let's do that again. Inhale, half lift. Exhale. One more time. This time, let's bend our knees, reach the arms forward, and then up to the sky. Drop, open the arms. Take an inhale, reach them forward and up to the sky. Exhale, open the arms. Let's do that again. And exhale. This time, let's reach high, swan dive down to the ground. Stepping the right foot to the back of your mat, releasing the knee and the top of the foot to the ground nice and flat. Take an inhale, reach for the sky in your low lunge, find that stretch. Right there in the front of the hip. Oh, across the chest. Breathe, breathe. Put your hands down to the earth. We hook that right side of toes on. Just step back into plank. You can inhale, press forward. Exhale, maybe the knees come down first as we float the chest to the ground, hugging the elbows close. Take an inhale, feet, tops the feet on the ground. Arch the spine, cobra pose. And release. Good, let's go into depth, into that downward facing the child's pose. Nice and long stretch in the back of the bottom. Drop the chin towards the chest and the forehead towards your mat. Inhale, come back to your tabletop. Exhale, downward facing. From here, draw that right knee forward. Inhale, exhale, step through and release the left knee and top the left foot to the ground. Inhale, reach for the sky. Breathe, breathe, lengthen and feel. 
hands come to the ground here. I'm gonna step that left foot forward next to the right. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach forward up to the sky and then open the arms. Take an inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, fold over. Is that a half lift? Half lift. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Step back with that right knee, right foot. Knee to the ground. Take an inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold down. Good. Step back into your plank. Inhale, press forward. Exhale, float down. Maybe knees first. Inhale, arch the spine. Cobra pose again. Exhale and release. Come on into downward facing. Downward facing. Pull that right knee forward. Step through and release the left knee to the ground. Take an inhale. Reach for the sky. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step forward with that left foot. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach forward. Up to the sky and open the arms. Take an inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, touch the ground. Step that right foot to the back of your mat. Low lunge again. Take an inhale. Exhale and release. Good. Hook that right set of toes under. Step back to your plank. Inhale, press forward. Exhale, float down. Maybe knees first. Inhale, arch the spine. Maybe it's up dog by now. Maybe it stays at cobra pose. From here, downward facing. Take your knee. And you're going that right knee forward. Step through. Right here. Low lunge, reach high. Hands to the ground. Step forward with that left foot. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms forward. Exhale, let's draw our hands to heart center. Standing tall, rooting into the earth, feet in parallel, or maybe just right next to one another, depending on the balance challenge that you want. Of course, the closer the feet are, the more challenging it will be to balance. Breathing here. Let's press into the left foot, start to lift the right heel. Start to lift the ball of the right foot. Breathe, breathe. Find your balance here. So can we reach around? Come into dancer here. And that right knee down. Right alongside the standing leg. Dancer. Maybe we start to extend that left arm out. Maybe we rotate it forward. Maybe we reach it for the sky. Start to bring ourselves, bodies parallel to the earth, even as that left leg, left foot roots in. Breathe, find that focal point for your eyes to rest on. Steady yourself. Yes, yes, it's a challenge. Three, two, one, and release. Good. From here, root into that right foot. Start to lift the left heel off the ground. Float the ball of the foot off the ground. Knee comes up maybe to hip level. That steadiness. To dancer, once you feel steady enough, reaching around for the inside of the foot, top of the foot. That right hand is down along the side. Maybe it reaches out. Maybe it reaches forward. Maybe it reaches high. Then you start to fold over. Bring your body parallel with the earth. Lift that left leg a little higher into that left hand, opening through the chest a bit more. Breathe for four, three, two, one, and release. Deep breathe. Feet close together, maybe hip width distance apart. Take an inhale, reach the arms up. Let's swan dive down to the earth. 
Take an inhale, half lift. Our exhale is to fold down. We're stepping back into plank with both legs. Take an inhale, press forward. Exhale, float down. Inhale, arch the spine for cobra. Maybe it's our dog. Exhale, downward facing. In here, lengthen the heels to the back of your mat. That space behind the knees, walk your dog. Two steps, you like. The head hang a little bit more heavily. Find that space between the shoulder blades. And then from here, you lift the right heel to the sky. Inhale. And then you forward step through. We're coming in the high lunge this time. Follow that back foot on the ground. Heel extending back. Inhale. To the sky. Exhale. Can we fold forward and reach back, squeezing the shoulder blades together? Take an inhale. Exhale. That's one more. We come into goal post arms. Drop and stand and drop and stand. Let's do that three more times. Really waking up the legs to especially that forward leg and glute. The hands down, step back and go directly to downward facing. Looks great. Your dog here. Lean down. Breathe into the fingertips, pressing the palms flat. Rolling into the thumb side of each hand. Gaging the arms so the elbow creases kind of rotate forward. And from here, take that left leg, reach it for the sky, inhale. Exhale, swing the leg through, step forward to the front of your mat. Take an inhale into your high lunge. From high lunge, we're folding forward, reaching back, squeezing the shoulder blades, reaching through the fingers and the crown of the head. Take an inhale. Exhale. More time. To go post arms, drop down, lift up. Drop down, lift up, pull the shoulders back a little bit further. Feel that stretch across the chest, shoulders. Two more. Fold down, step back to downward facing. Bring the back with the heels. Our plank position. From plank, press forward. From pressing forward, we're floating down. Maybe knees first. Inhale, arch the spine, cobra or up dog. Exhale to downward facing. And the head down. Press. Out, collapsing into the shoulders. Take an inhale, lift that right heel to the sky. Let's bend the knee. Point the knee up at the sky. Open through that right hip. Still dropping the head towards the ground. Still spreading the fingertips. Fly. From here, extend the legs square. The hips are stepping forward between the hands. From here, high lunge. From high lunge, let's twist into revolve warrior two. Left arm goes forward, arm down. Right arm goes back, arm down. Shoulder level. Twist a little deeper, soften through the shoulders. From here, can we lean back, turning that right hand, like left hand to the sky. Lean back, look at that left hand. Reach the right hand down for that left thigh. Sink a little deeper, find that stretch in the left hip. Good, from here, come back to Revolve Warrior Two. In revolve Warrior Two, let's make it. Make our way to Revolve Side Angle. Breathe here, find that stretch. Stretching a little bit deeper, twisting a little deeper, I should say. I'm not stretching the right hip. From right hip, let's go ahead and bring it into airplane. Leave here for another four, three, two, one. Hands down, let's step back into downward facing. Leave here. Lengthen, out of the edge the floor, heels towards the back of the mat, tailbone towards the sky, fingers forward of the mat. 
Yes. All that lengthening happens at once. Let's take that left leg up to the sky. Inhale. Spill your way there, then bend the knee. Point it up at the sky as you press your heel across the body. Find that stretch in that left hip. In three, two, one. Extend the legs, square the hips, step through. On your way to our high lunge and your balance here. From here, that right hand goes forward, left arm goes back, twisting. The ball of warrior two, reaching wide through the arms, softening through the shoulders, feeling that twist in the belly, that detoxifying twist. That's the renewal piece in our yoga today. So those twists that detoxify and renew. Good from your turn. That right hand to the sky, lean back and into reverse, reaching high through that right arm, low through the left towards that right leg. Finding that deep stretch into the right hip. Good. Revolve warrior two is next. From here, we're going into revolve side angle. Taking that right hand down. Left hand can rest on the hip or reach high, twisting a little bit more deeply to feel it in that left hip. The four, three, two, one. Come on down, step back into your downward facing here. Even lengthen. Watch your dog with these steps if you like. Four, three, two. Feel it reach back. Some more. And on an inhale, we're bending our knees, look to the space between your thumbs. And so let's walk our way forward to the front of our mat. Take an inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Let's inhale and sink into chair, reaching forward through the arms. Let's draw our hands to heart center. Take an inhale, just kind of lengthen up. Exhale, we're turning. Maybe we're taking that left elbow to the top of the right thigh, maybe to the outside. Whatever it is, we're twisting a little deeper, leveraging that elbow against the knee to get a little bit more of a twist here to detoxify for another four, three, two. One, bring it to the center, and let's reach up high. Swan dive back into chair. Take an inhale, lengthen, exhale, turn. Maybe that right elbow rest on the left side, maybe to the outside. Leverage against and twist a little deeper here. The four, three, two. One, bring it to the center. Reach it up. Open, sink it down. Take an inhale, exhale, turn. Twist a little bit more deeply. Knees and hips, as even as you can keep them. So dynamic tension here for another four, three, two. Come on, bring it to the center. Just about twist, twist, twist over to that left side again. Stay another four, three, swapping both shoulders to one and release. Relaxing, relaxing, standing tall still. Good, I'm here. Standing on that, let's down the left foot. Yeah, I'm changing things up a little bit today. So we're gonna lift the right knee up. You can bring it into tree, just briefly. Maybe we can go from tree into dancer, reaching for the top of the foot on the inside of the ankle. Explore your way to deepen that pose, dancer. From dancer, we go directly into warrior three. Breathe for another four, three, two. On and release. Good. Reach into the earth through that right foot. Start to lift that left heel, all the left foot, knee up to hip level. Our way to tree. Steadiness each time along the way. On tree, move it into dancer. 
Explore your way through dancing. Answer with the crown of the head forward, that back leg extended. Find your warrior three. Squaring the hips, that means dropping that left hip to the same level as the right. Another four, three, two, one. Gently bring yourself back up. Shake out the tension that has increased in the lower legs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just take it in, now reach the arms up. Exhale, we're swan diving down. Maybe we go directly into downward facing, but maybe we go into plank, press forward, float down, arch up, and then do that facing. So that through the heels, in that spaciousness in the back of the legs. So you can inhale, lift that right heel to the sky. Exhale, draw the knee forward, step through. We're coming into warrior one this time. Exhale, fold forward, reach back. Humble warrior. Humble warrior, reaching back to warrior one. Good, from here, come onto the ball of that back foot. Good, it's going to revolve warrior two. Left arm forward, right arm back. Twisting over towards the right, to right hip, looking at that right hip. And then at the left hand. Turn the palm of the hand to the sky, lean back and into reverse, reaching high with that left arm, low with the right. Let's come into our side angle pose. So revolve warrior two, side angle. Maybe that right hand comes to the hip as the left hand comes towards the floor or onto a block. Breathing here. Sink a little deeper, twisting a little bit more deeply. Good, from here, can we take that left knee down to the ground? Lock out of the way. And then from here, left knee stays on the ground, right leg steps back. We're coming into a side bridge type situation here with that right arm extended to the side. Left knee and left hand on the ground. Breathing here, now maybe, maybe stay here. Maybe you extend it, stack or stagger the legs. Breathe and stay for another four, three, two, one. Taking that left knee back on the ground. Let's rotate into plank. Take an inhale, press forward. Exhale, float down. Inhale, arch the spine for cobra or up dog. Exhale, the child's pose are downward facing. And breathing, lengthening the tailbone towards the sky, now the head towards the floor, heels towards the back of your mat. Your breaths. From here, left heel goes high, inhale. Be forward, step through, coming into warrior one. So that right heel down, toes are out to the right side of your mat. And then a humble warrior, exhale, lengthen back, squeeze shoulder blades, maybe even hook the thumbs together. Take an inhale, reach for the sky. Come onto the ball of that back foot. We're going into revolve, warrior two, right on forward, left on back. We'll swing towards the left hip, looking down at that left hip. And then look at that right hand. Whoa, behind your balance, aha. Uh -huh. And that right hand to the sky. Lean back for reverse. Hand high, left arm low, breathing here. Finding that wing in the right hip, do you? Yes. All warrior two, into revolve, side angle. Left hand can rest on your hip or on the floor. Rotate that left hand to the sky if it works. Releasing the right knee down to the ground. Extending that left leg into a side bridge. Right hand, right knee rounded. Left arm, left leg. Standard. Yeah. From here, maybe you stack or stagger that bottom leg. Maybe the knee stays put where it was. Maybe you lift the hip a little higher. Send it leg. Stay next. Three, two, one. Good. 
Come into your plank position. Inhale, press forward. Exhale, float down. Inhale, arch the spine, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing. Tailbone, click at heels, fingertips. Two, one. Strong here, let's lift that right heel high. Draw the knee forward, step through. Warrior one. Humble warrior. Rotate. Revolve warrior two here. Yeah. Revolve reverse. Revolve side angle. Can release that left knee down to the ground and the side bridge, or maybe even step that right foot back into that side bridge. Make sense? Breathe for another four, three, two, one. Come into that plank position. Inhale, press forward. Exhale, float down. Inhale, arch the spine, cobra up dog. Exhale, downward facing. Switch the back of your mat. Bring down. Lift that left heel high with your inhale. Draw the knee forward, step through. Warrior one. Humble warrior. Follow that back foot. Open into revolve warrior two. By the way, in time, slow your range of motion that you find. Soften the shoulders. Lean back for reverse here. Keep high through the right arm. Low through the left. Go through it. Bald warrior two. Into revolve side angle right here. Yes? Good. You can drop that right knee down. We send the left leg back into your side bridge. Or go directly here. Hips a little higher. For four, three, two, one. Into plank. Inhale, press forward. Exhale, flow down. Inhale, arch up. Cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing. Breathe, lengthen the hips towards the back of your mat. Lengthen your heels. Lengthen your fingers. Find more spaciousness right there at the shoulder blades. For three, two. One on and inhale, we're bending our knees, look to the space between your thumbs. Exhale, we're walking our way forward. Now half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reaching for the sky. Standing tall, opening the elbows, opening the arms, lengthening the fingertips to the ground. Good. I'm here. Let's go through a bunch of balance here. So we're going into. Moving into left foot, lifting the right knee up to hip level. Find your balance here first. And move into tree pose. Still holding on to that steadiness or reclaiming your steadiness. From our tree pose, let's go to dancer. Reaching, reaching, exploring, exploring. Dance, and we can go directly to warrior three. Square the hips. Good. On our warrior three. And we keep that leg suspended, cross over. Just as we can, maybe it's a figure four. Maybe we just kind of hug with that right arm underneath the left. Maybe we press with. We bring ourselves into eagle pose. Can we do it? Yeah, I think we can. Maybe we come into a bind. Maybe we're here. Maybe we have that right set of toes on the ground. 
Drop down for another four, three, two, one. Turn yourself up, open up, and release. Good. Bum here. Root into right foot. Left knee comes up, hip level. Find your balance here. That steadiness that we always see. Moving into tree pose. Again, reclaiming steadiness. Keep your last deep, smooth breath. Moving on to dancer pose. Exploring your way through to warrior three. From warrior three, cross over, maybe it's a figure four, maybe it's a bind. Maybe the toes come down to the ground. Left arm crosses underneath for a hug. Or pretzel pose with the palms or the tops of the hands together, dropping down. Softening the shoulders. Finding that stretch between the shoulder blades. In eagle pose for another four. Three, two, one. Open it up. And release. Shake it out. Let's do that again. Mm -hmm. Lean into the left foot. And he lifts up. And that steadiness. To tree. Your steadiness there. Toes of the left foot nice and wide on your mat. Coming into dancer pose. Dancer, reaching, lengthening, feeling, making your way to warrior three. Warrior three, we're crossing over. Underneath with that right arm. Hug or twist. Sink it down. Hold on to that steadiness that we're finding. The four, three, two, one, unwind. Yes. Move into that right foot, start to lift the left heel. Left knee to hip level, finding that steadiness. Come here to tree pose. The steadiness along the way. And tree pose the dancer. Exploring, exploring. Oh, yeah. Dance to the warrior three. Squaring the hips on warrior three to eagle pose. Whatever that expression looks like with that left arm home to the right. Yeah, we're getting tired. I am. I should speak for myself, shouldn't I? Yeah, for sure. Sink it down. Find it around if you like. Stay for another four. Three, two, one. Unwind. Reach it high. Swan dive down. Step back into your downward facing. That right heel high, knee forward to step through. Warrior one. Humble warrior. Goal post arms open up. Come onto the ball of that back foot. Rotate to revolve warrior two, left arm forward. Right arm back. Then lean back for reverse. To your side angle pose here, revolve. Yes. From revolve, I'm going to step that right foot back. Side bridge. Breathe. You can also keep, keep that left knee down if that's what's best. That's what you should do. Breathe. 
with four, three, two, one. Coming into your plank position, inhale, press forward, exhale, float down, inhale, arch up, cobra or up dog, exhale, downward facing. Okay, lengthen and feel, let them go side inhale, exhale, step through, warrior one. Four, exhale. Inhale, go post arms onto the ball of that right foot. Good. Going into the ball of warrior two. Left arm back, right arm forward. Twist a little deeper, soften the shoulders and reach the arms. Bring that right hand to the sky, lean back, reverse. Ball of warrior two. And revolve warrior two, revolve side angle. Push that hand down, reach high. Good, maybe that right knee comes down. On your way, side bridge with that left side up to the sky. Maybe stagger, stagger the legs. Maybe keep that right knee planted. Your choice, stay. Four, three, two, one. Back into plank. If you inhale, press forward. Exhale, float down. Inhale, arch the spine for cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing. Breathe. Here, release our knees down. We're going to flip over onto our backs. Our hip opening, so dropping down, pull our knees up. We're going to take left foot over right here, like so. Putting that right foot to the ground for a moment. Maybe just shifting down from side to side for a bit. And then grabbing that right thigh with both hands. Interlace the fingers behind that right thigh, pulling in a little bit more to feel even more stretch into that left hip. That's both feet protecting both knees. Open our arms out. Rotate onto that right hip. Yeah, so the left foot comes towards the floor. I need even more stretch in that left side. If it feels okay, you rock your chin over towards that left shoulder. That's both shoulders. Three more breaths right here. Pick up everything. Uncross left over right, now right over left. Ankle on top. Pull it in as close as you can and then start to pull that left thigh in. Right here. Yep. Like that angle. Breathe, breathe. I'm here. Start to rotate onto that left side, left hip. Arms wide, reaching the right sole, right foot towards the ground. Opening the arms, relaxing the shoulders, and if it feels okay, you turn your chin towards that right shoulder. That left hip. 
You put rats right here. Let's pull that onto your back and cross everything. Put the feet out a little wider and just put block the knees side to side. On your way to your Savasana, from here you can slide the legs long, feet wide. Your sides, palms up to the sky. Body stand for tension. Make sure there's none helping your shoulders or your hips, your knees. And we'll back your elbows, this. Feel the fingers and let the tension out the hands, wiggle the toes, let the tension out the feet. Holding your jaw and what up in your face. In your chest or back. Let the front of the back of the legs and the front of the hips the loose. And we'll do Chappelle, so breathe, stay present and feel. We lie here contemplating the renewal of strength, spring. I have a couple of quotes I'd love to share with you. Rachel Carson said, there's something infinitely healing in the repeated refrains of nature, the assurance that dawn comes after night and spring after winter. Nat Cornfield said, the heart is like a garden. It can grow compassion or fear, resentment or love. What seeds you plant, what seeds will you plant there? This one is good from Audrey Hepburn. To plant a garden, 
is to believe in tomorrow. to allow the eyes to flutter open. Start to wiggle our fingers and roll our wrists around, wiggle our toes, move our ankles around. Inhaling, we can reach our arms overhead, pointing long through our fingers, reaching through the toes. Exhaling, let's pull our knees into our chest for a big hug, rolling gently from side to side, massaging the back body gently. From here, we can roll over onto one side, eyes closed, head tucked into the crook of that supporting arm. Here, we can gently guide ourselves up into a comfortable seat, taking our time, being patient to sit tall. Opportunity for full breaths in. Full breaths out. Let's reach our arms overhead, lengthening through the fingers, reaching out of the shoulders, bringing our hands together, and then drawing our hands down the heart center. Taking three intentional breaths here with our hands pressed together. Finding gratitude in the moment for the air around us, for the breeze. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Till we meet again. Namaste.